Hey Dejas and Nicky Rikis, welcome back to another video and today we are doing a top 5 video and this has been a topic that I've wanted to do for quite a while since now that I do Mario Kart content I am going to be giving you guys since well, late, earlier today I did my Mario Kart live stream um, very late at night so I'm very sorry for the late upload but you gotta do what you gotta do uh, earlier uploads will be coming soon so don't worry Anyways, today is our top five favorite Mario Kart characters. This includes from one, um, ones from any game, so no one can be left out. Uh, we're gonna be going through my favorite, my top five favorites. And if you just remember before we get into this, that this is my personal opinion. If you guys don't agree with it, let me know your favorites in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get on to number five. At number five, we have Gold Mario, and I decided to go with Gold Mario as my number five is because in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, there is no character to unlock, so there's not really any like challenge. The only thing that you're trying to grind for is um, vehicle combinations, but there is one character that you can get, and it's Gold Mario. And when you get him, after you beat 200 CC and you complete all the cups um, and get gold you feel accomplished because you get that character. You get that character that you worked so hard for. So, Gold Mario is a very awesome character and he is very deserving. The number five on this list. He's just an awarding character and he looks really cool and he's more of a flex character when you play as him online. Because I did play as him in my live stream earlier. But yeah. Uh, Gold Mario is an overall solid character and that's why he deserves Number five on my list. At number four, we have Rob. Yes, this is a very unpopular opinion, but everyone praises the DS game. Everyone loved it. I love it. I still play it all the time. It's one of my favorite Mario Kart games. It's my second favorite. First is Mario Kart Wii, of course, but that's besides the point. Rob was an awesome character. I love Rob. I love him in Smash Bros. I love his actual character. You guys know I have a real Rob, and I have both Amiibos. I am a huge supporter of Rob, and seeing him in uh, Mario Kart just brought me so much joy as a kid, and it really got me introduced to the character. And I very much recommend you play him if you have it, if you do have the, if you do have the DS version. He should, in my opinion, be brought back as a character if the, they're going to be putting all these third-party characters. So not really third-party. They're going to be putting all these non-Mario characters in it. So why not give Rob some more love? He deserves it. Uh, he's a great, great character. And also the vehicle he comes with was just perfect because it looked just like how it was set up when you actually played the two interactive games that he comes with. It was a great representation of Rob, and I was very happy to see him. And... That's why he deserves number four on my list. Okay, this next one is an odd one because there's so many mixed opinions about this character, but you at least play him every now and then, whether you like him or hate him. Uh, third on this list is, of course, the me. Um, I do really like this because you can actually play as yourself. When this was introduced on the Wii, I was mind blown. And when I found that you could do that, I decided to grind as fast as I, as much as I could, so I would be able to play as myself in a game with all the characters that I love and grew up with. I found that amazing as a kid, so it's, it's a child's dream, but as you get older, it does seem a little more silly, but it's good that Nintendo is still keeping the, your avatars playable. That's why they put them in Smash, that's why they're in so many games, and that's why they put him in Mario Kart in the first place. Sure, the voice may be a little annoying in the seventh game on the 3DS, and maybe a little bit in the eighth game, but the uh, the one on the Wii wasn't that bad. A lot of people complain about the voice, but I didn't really mind it. It, it was a good way to start off, because it's way better than what we got in Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 7. They just sounded like babies. Yeah, I ain't no baby. What you take me for? Um, and also... You, um, in Mario Kart Wii, you were able to, depending on the height of your meat, you were able to be a heavyweight, you were able to be a lightweight, or you were even able to be a midweight. I personally always wanted the midweight because I, I 
would have to say that out of all of them, I would have to be a midweight. But um, it was just really cool to see that you're able to do so many things with the character that you were able to choose. You were able to choose what this character looked like, and you were able to choose the type of class that it would be under. And that, to me, is really cool. And in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Mario Kart Wii, uh, you, Mario Kart 8 uh, for the uh, Wii U, you were able to uh, use your amiibo, and still are, to get customs, uh, custom suits for your Mii. So you'd be able to make characters that aren't even in the game. Either if you didn't know how to mod, it would be the easiest way for you. You could put in like Sonic, or Captain Falcon, or Fox, or even a really terribly made Splatoon outfit. Like, and there's so many things you can do with the Mii, and that's why it deserves number three on my list. And number two on this spot goes to Daisy. And the reason why I say this is because Daisy is my favorite female Mario character. She's everything I would want to see in a female character in any game. She is really fun at times. She is very energetic. She, um, sure, she may be loud and all that, but she gives a positive energy towards and just as a character as a whole. And she's even really good in every sport game that she's in which is basically every game that she's in nowadays. Um, it'd be cool to see her in a story game and, and a future title, but that's for another video. But anyways, Mario Kart, uh, she's really awesome. She's a well-balanced character. It's really fun to play as her. She's a good midweight. Um, she has like good acceleration, good handling. Like There's not really a downside of playing Daisy. She's just fun, and it's just enjoyable to play as her. Especially in Mario, Mario Kart Wii, she is broken with the mock bike. That's one of my favorite vehicle combinations of all time. And it's just really fun, and I never get bored of playing Daisy. Daisy players sure may be annoying when you're facing them online, but it's really fun to play as her when you're the one who's playing as her. She has a great design, like, and she also has the best biker suit, in my opinion. It just looks really cool with the orange like uh, uh, outline of it. I thought that was really cool to see. Because after, after getting used to them in carts for so many uh, years, you were just able to see this brand new bi biker outfit, which was really cool and took took me by surprise, that's for sure. But uh, overall, Daisy is amazing. She is really good in every game. My personal favorite that she, uh, the game that she was in is Mario Kart Wii. But Mario Kart 7 she was pretty good in. Um, I don't really play her much in Mario Kart 8, but I will probably play her more in the future because this love definitely made me start uh, digging into the characters that I appreciate and I really love over the years. So, yeah. And that is why Daisy deserves number two on my list. Number one. Everyone should probably see this one coming. Funky Kong. Like, it's freaking Funky Kong. He was made as the fastest character in the game with a flame runner. It's like one of the most, um, one of the most, like, one of the most famous vehicle combinations and characters in all of Mario Kart history. It was just really awesome to see him in Mario Kart Wii, and that's why the game is so beloved, because of the huge Mario character diversity. It was awesome before we got all these third-party characters in Mario Kart 8. I thought it was way better without them, in my opinion. If you wanted to make a game with all these characters, just make a game called Nintendo Kart. Literally. But, um, this is not about that. Funky Kong is a great, great character. He's fast. He's a heavyweight, yet he's like the best uh, character to play as. Like him on any bike is just—it just feels good to play as him. He's an awesome character. He's hyperactive. Like he could be annoying, but like it's a good type of annoying. Like it's funny to just see him, like see his movements, see like when you even on the character selector and when you select him, it's just fun to see. He's just a great character, and it's just awesome to see that he was in a game that's still going on today. That was so many years ago. I've been playing Mario Kart Wii for 11 years, and trust me, it's it's been really fun just to know that he was always that he's always been in that game, one of the most popular and one of the most successful of the Mario Kart games. Um, it's a big issue. It's it's. Uh, it's a shame that they took him out of Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Hopefully in the next Mario Kart title on a console, we get him back. I would not want to see him in Mario Kart Tour because I don't really like that game. But that's... I think that might be a rant for an entire video for itself. But that's why Funky Kong deserves number one on my list.
And there you guys have it. That is my top five favorite Mario Kart characters. Uh, let me know if I missed your favorite and or if you guys agree with any of mine. Let me know in the comments below. And I want to say thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. And share the video. Um, and possibly turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss a video for me. Uh, for more top fives and gameplays like this. And I want to say thank you guys all so much for watching once again. And if you guys are new, please get there joining the Nicker family. I love you guys all. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Roll the credits.